Okay, I'm going to call this video a smoke in the Heavenly Father's nose. <laughs> a smoke in the Heavenly Father's nose. Sugar has eaten away his brain. A smoke in the Heavenly Father's nose. Sugar has eaten away his brain. Okay, and uh, you'll see why I give it that title. Um, I was watching this video here put up by Elder Karatazar uh, of GMS Vegas sit-downs and um, once again the, the pork chop the pork chop non-profit <laughs> the pork chop non-profit profit is at it again <laughs> he's doubled down uh, I guess this is, uh, let me guess, this is the, uh, the Christmas celebration, I guess it is, in, in the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. <laughs> and guys, at best, that dude is comic relief, man. What you about to see on the screen here, this, this guy, uh, uh, and, you know, he calls us Pharisees as if, as if, uh, he still hasn't got, gotten the memo that not all the Pharisees were wicked. You had a sect, the scriptures tell us, you had a sect of Pharisees that believed. They actually believed in Yahweh Shai. So not all the Pharisees were wicked. So you have these Israelites, uh, if, as soon as they're displeased with you, they'll call you a Pharisee. See, yeah, that guy's a Pharisee, the Pharisees. Not all the Pharisees were wicked, man. You had a sect of Pharisees. The Bible clearly tells us this. You had a sect of Pharisees that believed in Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. You had a sect of Pharisees that were actually part of the elect. The Apostle Paul himself was a Pharisee. All right, he, he called himself a Pharisee of the Pharisees. Nicodemus, okay, Nicodemus who went to Yahweh Shai by night was a Pharisee. The man who raised up the Apostle Paul, Gamaliel was a Pharisee, not a wicked Pharisee, he was a righteous Pharisee. So you had Pharisees that believed in Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay? But uh, you're gonna hear this guy say, yeah, that's, this is gonna really piss off the Pharisees. You're gonna see him, I'm gonna play the video. But you know, you, you make observations and from all the, the different examples of of uh, food, if you can call it that, that he had on the table. Mostly all of it is sugar. When you eat it, well, he had straight up pastries. That's, that's straight up sugar. And uh, he had the white rice, that's sugar. You know? And too much sugar is not good for the body, not at all. All right? Too much sugar, you have to really guard against that because sugar is very detrimental to the body. You know, and I Googled uh, the negative effects of sugar. And Jake, man, Jake eat a lot of sugar. That's one of the reasons why I, this guy here, by the way, and you can see in his eyes, he's miserable. You know, he's knocking like uh, the song by Bob Dylan. He's knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and he thinks that we're mad at him. We're upset with him. L listen, man, like, uh, again, quoting what Elder Karatazar said, it's not our anger you should be worrying about. We're not mad at you. We're laughing at you, man. You're, you're comic relief. At least we had GMS, you know, the men of GMS, beginning fell apart on down. We're, we're just laughing at you, man. You're a sad case, man. It's not our anger you should worry about. You should worry about the anger of Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's why in the title I, I put a smoke in his nose. You're a smoke in the Lord's nose, man. You know, you should worry about the anger of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Anyway, let me uh, play some of this video and let's get this lesson started. <laughs> so he's doing his, he's doing his folly. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is mentioned in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And you know one scripture comes to mind. 
Matthew 7 and 21, where it says, where the Yahushua said, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom. When you read that in Hebrew, it's Yahushua, Yahushua. Just because you know the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, but you, you're still wrapped up in iniquity and, uh, in, iniquity and folly, th that, you know, you're not going to be one of Yahushua's chosen elect. He's going to flat out reject you, man. Okay. Like, like the scripture said, Yahweh Shai going to say to you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. All right? And this, this is an example of iniquity. Okay, what you're about to see here. Anyway, let's move on. All praises, you. All praises. All praises. All right, peace and salutations to you, royal house of David. I hope y'all wasn't thinking that um, we... My man, you are not of the house of David. <laughs> all right? And he thinks he's King David. That's all that sugar that's in his brain. It's caused him to have dementia. Dementia. Dementia is a result of a brain that's that's uh, heavily dosed on sugar. Dementia. Okay? Dementia of the brain, that's, that's one of those sugar diseases. And many diseases come, the, the word disease means the body's not at ease. Many diseases come from eating too much sugar. And dementia is one of them. Okay? So this guy believes he's King David. Yeah, that's a result of his sugar-eating dementia. Okay? Sugar-eating dementia. We didn't get out of here before I showed you the spread, right? We got to make sure these Pharisees... Here come the spread. <laughs> he going to show us the spread. Good and mad. So, Sergeant, take this. Yeah, what he said, he called us Pharisees. Which, like I said, not all the Pharisees were wicked. There was a sect of Pharisees that believed, but he, he, he that's beyond his understanding. All praises, you. All praises. All right, peace and salutations to you, Royal House of David. I hope y'all wasn't thinking that um, we was finna get out of here before I showed you the spread, right? We gotta make sure these Pharisees is good and mad. So, Sergeant, take this. <laughs> we in there? All right. <laughs> we gonna... hey, this, this guy is a funny dude, man. It, 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 just one look at him, you start laughing. All right. We got over here, mama. We got. It. Man, look at that stomach, man. And that's all. That's literally this guy's full of shit. That's all shit. Just. Hold up, let's back this up. Let's back this up. See, once you get into the, these health videos and, and learning how to eat better and what, what foods to eat, what foods to avoid, and the, the foods that you avoid, the negative effects that it has on the body, one look at this guy and I can tell he doesn't go to the bathroom properly. Okay, what you're looking at, that stump, that's all shit. And um, shout out to Bishop Sakharan. He, was, he, was, uh, he made a good example with King Eglon. Now, when you read the scriptures about King Eglon, he was, he was morbidly obese. He was very fat. And most of that was shit because when Ehud, right, when Ehud, the left-handed Benjaminite, the left-handed Benjaminite deleted Eglon, he shoved a knife in his gut and the scriptures say uh, uh, dirt came out. That wasn't straight up dirt, that dirt on, on the ground. That wasn't dirt. That was shit. That was shit that literally came out of King Eglon as he, as he uh, sat there dying. It, he was sitting on his summer porch and he was extremely obese, morbidly fat because of his diet, Eglon. All that stuff he was eating, that, that, that fried, you know, which all turned into sugar. <coughs> right? That was his diet. So when Ehud deleted him at the behest of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, uh, it says dirt came out. It wasn't straight up dirt. It was it was shit. So when you hear the people uh, saying people are uh, full of shit, people are literally full of shit. This guy is literally full of shit. This guy doesn't have a complete bowel movement. Okay? <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Just one look at him. If he did, his stomach would be way down, flat. That's how you can tell, man. And, that, and, and it's all downhill from there, which means his digestive system is... is, is uh, is not working properly, okay? Because of all that sugar, that that's that's the negative effects of that sugar, that that all that sugar that he eats, and always, you know, it's all it's um 
also um, rotten his brain, eaten eaten away at his brain. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is is on the, is, is in the first first stage of dementia. Okay, but let's move on. We in there? All right. We gonna show the spread. All right. What we got over here, mama. We got chicken wings. Fried extra. Fried chicken wings. Now one has to ask, what kind of oil did he use to fry them chicken wings? I guarantee you, it's probably corn oil, which is which is. Ugh corn oil okay if you're gonna fry something and you should watch how much fried stuff you eat but if you if you're gonna you, you, either avocado oil okay avocado oil or coconut oil you don't want to use veg vegetable oil or corn oil okay anyway let's move on we got pastries pastry sugar sugar we got cupcakes, corn. Cupcakes, sugar. Bread. Cornbread, sugar. And, and I guarantee you the sugar they were using was white sugar. Okay, and, and, and here I have, let's read this real quick. The ne I typed in in Google the negative effects of sugar. Let's read this here. This is from Google. In a large review of 73 meta-analyses, which included... 8,000, so you, you know the scriptures say about Esau, he, he, he accomplished a diligent search. They check out everything. That's in the book of Psalms, the 64th chapter. So Esau has done research on sugar, it, its effects, which included 8,601 studies, high consummation of added sugar, and that's the, the, the sugar that you see here, was associated with significantly higher risks of 45 negative health outcomes. And by the way, I believe this guy, his, uh, his kidneys is, is, is uh, damn near shot. I don't know what, uh, I think he's on uh, near dialysis. Oh no, I think he is on dialysis. I think, I mean, someone can correct me in, in, in the comment section. But his kidneys, are, which is probably why he has a deaf wish. He knows he's going out. So he says, you know what, yo, if I'm, if I'm going to go out, uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, uh, I'm just going to take as many souls as I can with me. <laughs> he has a deaf wish, okay? So, you know, not only does his kidneys, uh, I believe his, his kidneys is, is a shot, but his, 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 his brain from all that sugar. Let's, let's read the, out, the negative outcomes of uh, too much sugar. And this is a warning. This video, is, let this video serve as a warning to you, you brothers and sisters out there that eat a lot of sugar. Okay? You got to check your diet, man. It says uh, high consummation, uh, consumption of added sugar was associated with significantly higher risks of 45, 45 negative health outcomes. Wow including diabetes, which I do believe he has diabetes, gout, I'm pretty sure he's, he's had gout when your, you know, your ankles are swollen, your feet are swollen, that's gout. Gout's also known as the king's disease, okay, the king's disease, and there's a reason for that. Obesity, you can clearly see the guy is obese. High blood pressure, what? only imagine what his, high blood, high, his blood pressure is. I'm pretty sure it's very high. A uh, heart attack, and he looks like he's two steps away from a heart attack. Stroke, cancer. Cancer is also known as the sugar disease. I know that for a fact. Uh, asthma, tooth decay, depression, and early death. And this guy is depressed. He's depressed. This dude here. This dude right here. He's depressed. That's why he's doing all this folly for attention, because deep down inside he's depressed okay so that's from google all these negative on all, all these diseases on are, are deadly okay this diabetes gout uh, high blood pressure heart attack stroke cancer okay 
Study finds 45 negative health effects on of added sugar. Yeah, too much sugar, man. And, and Jake eat a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar. Okay. This is from Heart Health, The Sweet Danger of Sugar. Pretty good title. Too much added sugar can be one of the greatest threats to cardiovascular disease. Here's how to curb your sweet habit. So you got to watch that sugar, man. Okay, that sugar can become bitter. All right. So you get the idea. So let's get back to the video. We got cupcakes, corn. Cupcakes, cornbread, sugar, all sugar. Turns it when you, when you eat it, turns all all turns into sugar and it's the bad kind of sugar. Bread. All right. We got bread, beans and rice. Red beans and rice, the rice. I guarantee you it's, it's, not, it's not black rice, it's not uh, wild rice, right? If you're going to eat rice, you want to eat black rice, okay? You want to eat wild rice. You know, white rice is the worst kind of rice you can eat, okay? And he has, not only does he have the, the beans and rice there, then he has another tray of rice, white rice. Which when you eat that when you eat that crap turns turns into sugar totally. In your body it turns into sugar. No sausage. Alright. We got we got them collard greens. With a little bit of and then the first question I was asking is, well, where's the greens? Where's the veggies? Where's the fresh greens? Like this is cooked. The collard greens is cooked. Collard greens is good for you. Greens. But it's cooked. Cooked to death. So all the nutrients has been sucked out of it. You need fresh greens. So where's the fresh greens, man? Where's the fresh leafy green salad? You know? That's something Jake don't eat. The, ma <clears throat> the majority of Jake, they don't eat that stuff. That's why they're always sick. You got to at least once a day, you, at least once a day, you got to have some berries, some blueberries, blackberries, uh, raspberries, strawberries, right? A serving of berries at least at least once a day and a serving of greens at least once a day because that keeps you nice and regular so you don't end up having a big bloated belly like like the pork chop prophet you know let me bring in the scripture for you diet is very much a part of this thing of ours man <clears throat> excuse me this is the book of uh, ecclesiasticus or like king marshall would say ecclesiasticus the beloved king marshall uh, is it um, Ecclesiastes 30 and 25? A cheerful and good heart, meaning mine, will have care of his meat and diet. Now, this guy, he doesn't have a cheerful and good heart. His, his heart is in turmoil. He's depressed because slowly he knows he's dying. Slowly he knows he's being deleted. Okay, because his kidneys are shot. And the main reason his kidneys his kidneys are shot, which the kidneys perform a very function, a very important function in the body. One of the main reasons is because of his diet. But we just read here in Ecclesiasticus 30 and 25, a cheerful and good heart will have care or care of his meat and diet. So you 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 brothers and sisters out there, you're supposed to watch your diet. Watch what you eat. Look, the, the saying goes. You are what you eat. This guy eats a lot of sugar, and that sugar is rotting away what little brains he have left. You know, he's dying. Dude is trying to die. Not trying to die. He is dying. Okay? His understanding is dead, and, and pretty much his body. Only a matter of time, man. He's on board. He's the, 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 uh, the, what do you call it? The uh, time is ticking on that guy, man. Mustard, all right, and we got got some white rice that turns into sugar. White rice, you eat it, turns into sugar. And then what we got over there? Oh, yes, oh, yes, the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese turns into sugar. Okay, the cheese is probably silicone. Okay. You you have to really watch that those uh what do you call it the, that pasta you have to really watch it man. 
Because that thing straight up turns into sugar. And again, I showed you the, the you know, the uh, account from Google. Over 45 negative effects that come from sugar. Gout, diabetes, tooth decay, you name it, man. This guy, his diet is mostly sugar. Mac and cheese. All right. On the quad, I heard you talking shit about me singing. I'm singing again, nigga. Look here. You got me in now? Look at that stomach, man. Look at that stomach. Wow. You can see he's miserable. It's all that sugar. You got me. Y'all see the knife? Hmm? Oh. Y'all gonna love this. <laughs> One for the money, two for the Pharisees. Look at it. We got it. Two for the Pharisees. That sugar is eating away his brain, man. Two hams with extra glaze. So that's pork. For you niggas, all right? He loves that pork, man. He loves that pork. And even Elder Karadza, <clears throat> I was thinking of that scripture, and then later in Elder Karadza's video, that's the video we're we watching here, he did a response to that folly. He brought out the scripture I was thinking about, where the Lord said, and that's where the title comes to, these are smoke in my nose. Uh, so he's, that guy, the fat man over here, <laughs> fat man over here, he's worried about our, our anger. Uh, you should be worrying about the anger of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. We're not angry at you. We laugh at you, man. You're, you're comic relief. But look at the subheading. Isaiah 65 and 1. A rebellious people. <clears throat> I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out, and the haze goes into the point, I have spread out my hands all day, all the day, unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. That's homeboy over here. That's him right there. That's the scripture. Let's read it again. Isaiah, that's uh, uh, King Tubby over here. King Tubby. Uh, I have spread out my hands all, day, all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoketh me to anger continually. That's what you're doing, man. For all that sugar up in your brains. Sugar brains. Yo, sugar brains. Most of what he's, if not all of it, what he showed on that table, it turns into sugar, man. <laughs> all that sugar is killing you, dog. <laughs> you got too much sugar. Sugar in your brain, man. That's why you can't think straight. Isaiah 65 and 3. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves. That's where that guy is. He's, he's, he's among the graves. <laughs> he's, a, he's a citizen of the congregation of the dead, which remain, he's dead from the neck up, from all that goddamn sugar which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eats, which eats, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things in their vessels. Yeah, broth of abominable things. Hold up, let's see that again. Let's go back to that again. Broth of abominable uh, things. Sergeant, take this. Let's go to that spread he talking about. That's the scripture that came to my mind when he was when he was doing that folly, and Elder Karadza brought out that scripture in his lesson. I'll show the spread. All right, what we got over here, Mama. We got. It. Now look at that guy's tummy. You know that's years of broth of an, of abominable things, and that's what just what he shows on camera. He eats that pork. Lord knows what else he eats. Okay. An atrocious diet, man. An atrocious diet. Remember the scripture we read in the Apocrypha? All right. Let, let me remind you, Ecclesiastes 30 and 25. A cheerful and good heart, a cheerful and good mind will have a care of his meat and diet. Diet is very much a part of this thing about it. You brothers and you sisters out there, watch your diet. Watch your diet. Watch what you eat. You are what you eat. 
Okay. Chicken wings. Fried extra crispy. Fried extra crispy with that with that rancid. Look that word up. R A N C I D with that rancid oil. That corn oil, that mazola oil. I guarantee it's probably mazola oil because the oil is cheap. They're not going to fry that stuff in coconut oil. Coconut oil is expensive. There's a reason why mazola oil is cheap and coconut oil is expensive. Because <laughs> coconut oil is a better grade. Avocado oil is a better grade. Okay? Macadamia oil. Sometimes I cook with macadamia oil. Okay? Gotta do your research. We got pastries. Sugar. We got cupcakes, corn. Sugar. Sugar. Bread. Sugar. All right. We got red beans and rice. Sugar. What's red beans is good for you. Red beans is good for you, but red beans and, and rice, that rice, sugar. Okay. Sausage. All right. We got, we got them collard greens. Collard greens is good, but... You should try to get it fresh or at least steam it. All right. I don't, there's no fresh veggies on that table. No fresh leafy greens, which is extremely beneficial to the body. None of that on that table. Nothing but sugar. With a little bit of Texas mustard. All right. And we got, got some white rice. Straight up sugar. And then what we got over there? Mac and cheese. More sugar. The mac and cheese. All right. On the quad, I heard you talking shit about me singing. I'm singing again, nigga. Look here. You got me in now? You got me. This guy doesn't walk. He waddles, you know. That's King Tubby, the waddler. See the knife? Mm -hmm. Oh. Y'all gonna love this. <laughs> One for the money, two for the Pharisees. Look here. We got two hams with extra glaze. Two hams. Kind of reminds you of Jeroboam to, uh, to uh, get Israel. Not only did he bring out one calf, he brought out two. He had Israel worshiping two calves. <laughs> this guy brings out two, two uh, portions of ham this time. Two. So he doubling down. For you niggas, yeah. all right? A, a, a broth of abominable things. What does the scripture say? Isaiah 65 and 4, which remaineth among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things in their vessels, in their bodies, which say, stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. That's pretty much the attitude he has. These are smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all, a fire that burneth all the days. So the Heavenly Father is mad at you. You worrying about our anger, my man. You better worry about the anger of Yahabashim Yahshai, because Yahabashim Yahshai is mad at you. And remember, look, the judgment of the Lord is terrible. You should watch that airplane video I did. All right, the the uh, judgment of Yahabashim Yahshai is. The judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is swift and brutal, man. All right, so hey, keep up with the charade, my man. Enjoy yourself. In the words of the Jacksons, enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. Have a good time, man. Because when your judgment comes, that well, that's the end of it. All right. So with that, on to the next one.